Hey guys and welcome back to a new video and today's video has been a long time coming because so many of you have asked me how I edit my videos. Well I'd like to introduce today's sponsor and that is Wondershare Filmora 10. So Wondershare Filmora 10 is perfect for beginners and expert editors like myself. There are so many cool features and I want to show you some of our favorite features that we use in our videos and it's that easy that even this one <laughs> is gonna be doing some of those features and showing you how easy it is to do. What are we doing first? I wanna do the map where we fly into our destination. Okay, that's called keyframing. So when you open up the software, it's gonna look like this. And I like to work in the dark. So we're gonna go onto the Wondershare Filmora tab, onto preferences and set the appearance to dark mode. Okay, so that's much better. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is import our map. Uh, I've just screenshotted the European map from Google Maps. And we're gonna drag it down into the timeline like so. We need to resize the map. So you just click on the timeline and drag the cursors to the perfect size. Click okay and we're good to go. From there, we're gonna head up to elements and this is where the fun happens. Now there's a drop down box with loads of cool elements, but we're going to scroll down to AR. There you'll find the airplane, which we're going to lay on top. And as you can see, it's just a big moving airplane. So we're going to have to resize that. Double click on the airplane and you will see customize. Now this is where we're going to keyframe this plane. By double clicking on the plane, you'll set your first keyframe and we're going to set our start position. Now we're flying from London via Berlin. So I'm just going to adjust it so we can fly via Berlin to Croatia. Now you drag your plane forward. I'm going to go about the middle of the clip. And now we're going to add a keyframe and I'm going to drag it onto where I want it to be by that time in the clip. So let's just adjust it a little bit so it can continue flying to Croatia. And we continue our timeline. And again, we stop there add a keyframe and adjust to where we want the end position to be. And obviously our final destination is Croatia. Now let's see what we're working with. Okay, it's hovering slightly weird. Oh, the second half are like, yes, we're flying into Croatia. So I'm going to drag back to the middle and do you see the little point there? That's the keyframe. We're going to adjust it. I think we just need to turn the plane a little bit so it doesn't fly on its side see if this will make a difference just positioning it correctly and click OK let's see if this makes a difference yes okay now we're talking we're flying yeah we're turning around brilliant I'm happy with that now to really shazza up let's go over to elements and to hand drawn now I saw this globe and I thought oh maybe we can make it extra fancy and it's so easy to do you drag it down onto your timeline and this is what this element will do. It will draw a cool globe. Now, that's epic. It just needs to be a little bit bigger. So we're just going to click onto the timeline and adjust its size. Let's see what we got. Uh, excuse me, that... How have I just done that? I literally am not the editor, guys. Graham is going to be so jealous. I'm on a roll here. I'm going to just keep going. I want to get some audio on and luckily there's some audio inside the Wondershare Filmora 10. Uh, let's check out electronic. You double click on the picture to listen to the song. Quite like the look of this one. Let's have a listen. Okay, let's go ahead and drag that one in. Let's have a look what it totally looks like. Yes, I'm liking that. Okay, we need some more files. I'm going to import me introducing uh, Croatia and we need some drone footage. Let me get that in. You can also import whole folders. So if you go import media folder, I can literally import the Croatia drone folder. And let's get working with that. I'm dragging the intro. And after the intro, I want to do something really snazzy. Get the split screen on there. 
And we've got loads of options of how we can split, but I've got three drone clips. So I'm thinking this one. Okay, we're gonna drag that. And then it's really simple. You literally just drag and drop each clip onto the split screen. So it couldn't really be easier. Let's have a look. Okay, that's quite zoomed in. I'm going to have to resize that. So I'm going to double click onto the picture and then just move the cursor to make it fit into the split screen. Perfect. I'll do it also at the top one. Yes. So now from my hand, it will go into the split screen. Only thing that's missing is a cool transition. Luckily, there is literally transitions right there. So we've got loads of them. Again, you just double click on them to see what they're going to be like. What about what about this one? So we're dragging that onto there and let's see what we got. Welcome to Stealth Croatia. Okay, so one of my favorite features is motion tracking. So I'm going to add in a clip of Theodora snowboarding in Trentino, Italy. If you right click on the video footage, you'll see motion tracking and you'll see a box that has appeared on the video footage. And what we're going to do is we're going to move that over to Theodora and we're going to place that on her back and we're going to make the box a little bit smaller. And then we're going to go over to the left hand side and click on start motion tracking. As you can see in the top right hand corner, the box is following Theodora snowboarding down the mountain and that will track her all the way to the end of the clip. Okay, so obviously we need something to actually track on her. So I'm going to go to elements and I saw a really cool pair of Neo wings that I think will look really cool on her back. So I'm going to drag them down onto the top of the footage and you should see a box appear. I'm going to make that quite a lot smaller and then I'm going to place it onto Theodora's back. Then I'm going to go back over to the motion tracking box and click on the Neo wings, not the default. And then from there, we will play the clip. And as you can see, the wings are now attached to her back. And obviously you can track any kind of elements and also text or layovers. So guys, if you want to turn your video clips on your phone or your GoPro or your DSLR into a cool little video, then download Wondershare Filmora 10 in the description box below. I've got a link there and you can try it for free. Okay guys, we have a giveaway for three lucky winners to win one year license with Filmora. So you need to comment below, what do you think of Filmora using the hashtag create with Filmora. Most importantly, I hope we've inspired you to make some of your own cool little videos. If Theodora can do it, then you guys can do it too. Stay tuned for the next videos, guys, who we're hoping to go travel, and we will see you in the next video. Ciao!